Okay, so this is the uh, group initiative uh, API script that I am looking at here. So uh, I had a problem with it last night. Uh, uh, it would not work for me, and I didn't want to mess with it too much, so I just did something on the fly. Uh, but if you are using the group in it, uh, API, uh, it can be kind of hard to set up at first. Uh, but this tutorial will walk you through um, testing it and uh, making sure that it works for you. So uh, let me just clear the current chat log. <clears throat> and so uh, today I looked at my uh, API script screen here. So if you go here where you have your scripts, uh, just go down to the bottom and if it isn't, if the group initiative isn't working, you might see something in this area that says that the uh, unknown token or something similar to that. And, uh, if there's one error in one script, it's going to disable all of your API scripts. Uh, so what I did was uh, disable the script <clears throat> here and then uh, came over to my screen, unselected any of my tokens, uh, went back and enabled the script and that's when it spun up a new sandbox and no errors came through. So what I did was go back and test my group in it <clears throat> and to use the group in it uh, you want to select your tokens and I have four of them here and I also have this macro here for initiative the initiative macro is pretty simple uh, since we have the API script it is just calling uh, the API with this bang command so bang group dash init uh, and I have it down here for easy access. So uh, when you have these selected, you hit the initiative. Uh, it doesn't seem like anything happens, but you have to launch your turn tracker. So once you launch that, the glowing icon here comes from the upper left corner and goes underneath the person with the highest initiative. Now you notice that one of my tokens is a uh, non-player character, a bad guy right here. So if you do have a guy like this, uh, the initiative is just going to roll a straight d20 for him and it doesn't add any dex mods or anything else. So if you do have a dex mod, just come in here, add it, and you may have to <coughs> redo the turn order. So now uh, we have the correct turn order. I'm on Granite's 15, bad guy 1110, <coughs> and so forth. And you don't really want to pay attention to this right now. I've been playing with it, so it's already on round nine. I could delete and redo it, but I'm not going to. So what I do is, uh, once Mon Granite is done with his turn, just hit the arrow, and it's, uh, the glowing token will go over the next person. So that's a pretty nice feature. And in the chat window, you'll see over here that Mon Granite's turn is done, and it goes to the next person. Uh, it makes combat go a lot more smoothly. Uh, so we'll just go through the motions here. This guy is done for the next guy next guy and the nice thing is that it tracks the rounds so you see down here round 10 and over here in the chat that you are on round 10 <clears throat> now once you're done with combat keep the turn order up uh, click the gear icon and you can remove all turns and clear the list and you'll also have to remember to close it and that takes the token back up to the upper left corner of your map and that's it. Uh, that's the group initiative. It's a very nice API, and I hope you find that it works well for you.